Okay, for this particular session, all right, we are going to look at the Singapore Primary School uh, maths, particularly, all right, on the division model, okay, which is uh, something different from what we grew up with. Okay, that's why I would like to clarify and uh, explain how this is done to parents or to, to tutors that are supposed to deal with this. Now, I'm going to use a few simple examples to explain this. And uh, one of these examples here is uh, 3, all right, okay, divided by, uh, sorry, 75 divided by 3. Now, normally, we will look at the 7 and we will ask ourselves what number actually uh, get closest to the 7. So in this case, we will put a 2, then we have the 6 and so forth. Now, some school actually does that uh, in, the, in their maths division. But some school in Singapore actually use a different model. So I will cover these uh, different Singapore models for division. Okay, so the first thing they look at is which position uh, we are going to deal with. So this is the 1 position and this is the 10 position. So we are dealing with the 10 position. So the first thing that we, we will ask right, is this is a 3. Right? So this is a 3. We are dividing by 3. And this is a 10 position. The 7 is actually in the 10 position. So we need to group the tens in groups of three. All right, two seventy, because seven is at the seventy position, or right, ten position. So just out of our simplicity, okay. So I put all the seventy here, and I group them into three because I'm dividing by three. So I would have uh, one group here two group here and some left over that uh, could not be grouped into three. So how many groups do I have? I have two groups. See? One group and second group. So that's why I put a two up here. Alright. And this two group, alright, which is this two group, okay, the combined total is actually 60. So that's why I have the 60 over here. Okay, which is what we already uh, know. Okay. Then we subtract the 75 and the 60, we get 15. Okay, we get the 15. So let's proceed. So now the 5 is actually at the 1 position. So I think in terms of 1. So I have 15 1. Okay, 15, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I got 15, 1. But I want to group these ones into groups of 3. So I got a group of 3, a group of 3 over here, a group of 3 over here, a group of 3 over here, and a group of 3 over here. And I asked myself the same question that I asked just now. I would have 5 groups of three ones. See? One, two, three, four, five. Alright, five group All right. of three. Okay, which combined total give me fifteen. So fifteen divided by fifteen, that's right, the fifteen subtract fifteen, I will have nothing left and I will get my answer, which is uh twenty-five. Alright, so this grouping model okay visualizing it in groups uh, does work okay but what if I have a remainder so to explain that all right to explain remainder I'm gonna use this example here okay which we know is gonna leave a remainder but we'll just work it out anyway all right so uh, the seven is at, at the 10 position so I need to think in terms of 10. Okay. And I have to ask myself, how do I group my 10 in trees? Okay, so 3 tens, 3 tens. Oops, this one 
couldn't fit up up to three so i have two group of three tents so i have two group of three tents and these groups are 60 so i end up with 16. okay then the six is actually at the one position All right, so i do the same thing okay groups of one okay but uh, the groups of one must be in trees so I got one group two group three group four group five group okay so 15 and there's one more over here which I can't group that will give me the five over here so I got five group right of three and that give me 15 and well if I take the 16 subtract the 15 i have the one right one left over see this there's one left over and that is my remainder which is r1 or remainder one but what if the number gets bigger all right what if the number get bigger will this model still work well okay we'll use another number three hundred and twenty six all right then i want to divide it by two so the first thing again i'll look at the three the three is in the hundred position okay so i will look at hundred but i need to group them in two okay so i have two all right hundred here and one left over so i only have one group of two okay hundreds okay and that will give me my 200 so one group of two hundreds right. and of course if i subtract i will get my 126 but the two is at the 10 position okay the two is actually at the 10 position see this is at the 10 position so i'll think in terms of 10 all right i'll think in terms of 10 up to 126 because this one is 126 down here but each of the 10 in groups of two so 210 210 210 210 210 and 210 of course i'll have left over okay all right so i end up with six group of ten right because here two right six group right over here six group see all right six group or right, each of two tens and all this is 120 so 126 subtract 120 i left six six okay the last digit six is at the one position so i'll think in terms of one okay and i'll do the same okay because i need to group the one in twos so two 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 because i have six over here and they are just nice so i got three groups all right of two see three groups of two and this combined total is six so six subtract six no remainder so the answer is 163 so the grouping method that is used by the singapore uh, division model what does work and some students actually find this easier to understand because they actually are able to visualize it compared to previously or right, the approach that uh, we adults used to learn is basically more of memory on the multiplication table all right but uh, this approach here right, force students okay primary school student to visualize and they can actually see the working or right, as they are working out the answer to division so I hope this little session uh, basically help uh, parents to explain the concept 
right, to the kids or, or tutor, okay, uh, explaining this concept to their students. Okay, all the best. Okay, study hard.